Since the discovery of America, the natives were nearly exterminated by brutal invaders, especially Christopher Columbus. November 4, 1791 was a day the table turned. Battle of the Wabash, the Battle of a Thousand Slain. Out of 1,000 government forces, only 24 escaped unharmed, making it the most decisive defeat in the history of the American military. Government forces led by St. Clair were attacked in the dawn. The surprise attack gave the natives an upper hand. The natives were led by Little Turtle in a struggle for land area, in the northwest of the Ohio River after Treaty of Greenville. The army under St. Clair included 600 regulars, 800 six-month conscripts, and 600 militia. At its peak, his war party was around 2,000 men when desertion took its toll, and when the force finally got underway, it had dwindled to around 1,486 men, and some 200 to 250 camp followers, wives, children, laundresses, and prostitutes. March progress was slow, and discipline problems were severe. Saint Clair, suffering from gout, had difficulty maintaining order, especially among the militia. By the end of November 2nd, through further desertion and illness, St. Clair's forces had been whittled down to around 1,120, including the camp followers. He had 52 officers, and 868 enlisted for duty on November 3rd. While St. Clair's continued to lose soldiers, the natives quickly added numbers. Buckongahela's led his 480 men to join the 700 warriors of Little Turtle and Blue Jacket, bringing the natives' war party to more than 1,000 warriors, including many Potow Thomas from eastern Michigan and the St. Joseph. The natives' party led by Little Turtle and Blue Jacket waited in the woods until dawn. Little Turtle directed the first attack at the militia who fled across a stream without their weapons. The regulars immediately broke their musket stacks, formed battle lines, and fired a volley into the natives, forcing them back. Little Turtle responded by flanking the regulars and closing in on them. St. Clair's artillery was stationed on a nearby bluff, and was wheeling into position when the gun crews were killed by native marksmen, and the survivors were forced to spike their guns. After three hours of fighting, St. Clair called together the remaining officers. Trying to avoid complete annihilation, St. Clair decided to attempt one last bayonet charge to get through the native line and escape. They escaped the camp leaving supplies and the wounded. The casualty rate among the soldiers was 97.4%, including 632 of 920 killed, 69%, and 264 wounded. Nearly all the 200 camp followers were slaughtered. The natives' casualties were about 61, with at least 21 killed. It was, in fact, a flight, St. Clair described in a letter to the Secretary of War. The battle has then been named, the Battle of a Thousand Slain. Thanks for watching.